The year 2022 becomes the first Eid al-Fitr in the United States for most of more than 70,000 Afghan refugees who came to the U.S. following the Taliban takeover last August. For VOA's Jinia Dulo met with some of these refugees in California to see how they are marking the end of Ramadan. So in his family, they'll have These are some of the nearly 40% of Afghan refugees who are still not permanently settled in the United States and living in hotels like this one in San Diego. Hajar Rojdi Krim's charity Kind Hearts San Diego raised money for gifts for refugee children celebrating the end of Ramadan. It's their first Eid, it's their first Ramadan. You know, as Muslims, we only celebrate two, uh, two events per year. This is the, the first one, and it's their first one in the U.S. Um, so we just try to bring little you know, happiness to their hearts and alleviate a little bit of the financial burden on their uh, families, who many of which are not working right now. Refugee Abu Bakar Samoun volunteered to help distribute toys and gift cards to more than 200 families in need. Grateful that his relatives in San Diego helped him find an apartment for his family. He says his work as an accountant for U.S. officials in Afghanistan put his family in danger with the Taliban take over. The biggest challenge definitely was leaving all the life that we built back in Afghanistan throughout these years, including, like I mentioned, uh, the businesses, the work experience, the network that we had in there, you know, of course, your home, your everything that you have at your house, your home and all that. Uh, leaving all that behind is a tough job. He's working nights, providing remote counseling services for foreign businesses still operating in Afghanistan, and is looking to pick up two more jobs to help pay preschool and medical bills. I'm always an ambitious person. I always uh, believe that uh, there's room for improvement. Whatever we are doing, we can do more than that, better than that. I plan to establish my own accounting firm down the line someday, plus any other business ventures that I can come across, I'm going to grab those opportunities. On this first Eid al-Fitr for Afghan refugees in San Diego, the Rululum Mosque Imam Shakib Nawabi held prayers in a city park to accommodate all the new arrivals. So I go and talk to them, I encourage them to be patient also, and I encourage them that in this country you can really achieve a lot of things by actually being patient and at the same time pursue your goals here uh, so you can benefit in this country. With more than 200,000 Muslims in San Diego County, Nawabi says it is especially important to help refugees feel welcome on Eid al-Fitr. Jenya Dulu, VOA News, San Diego, California.